Hello, welcome to Spurred On. I'm Rhys James and this is Spursy. Uh, you know, Spursy, snatching defeat from the jaws of victory, you know it by now. It's a classic, what we always do. This week's Spursy involves Moussa Dembele, one of the Spursiest players of all time. Moussa Dembele this week has said that he feels he's not getting enough first team opportunities and he is finding it frustrating. And it just got me thinking about what a Spursy footballer Moussa Dembele is. One of those players that we signed for 15 million. We snatched him from Manchester United. He was going to be the next big star and he just never quite makes it. Even Les Ferdinand and Tim Sherwood have always said that when they were managing the club, he was the next one to go to Real Madrid. He was the next big name. But somehow he just kind of flops and he just seems a bit lazy and we just never come to fruition. So I thought I'd give you a rundown of the top five Spursy players from history. In the interest of fairness, I've not included any players uh, that currently play for us. But if you want to see them, go and watch my top five Deadwood video. And that is pretty much it. Number five, David Bentley. Cheeky chappy geezer, David Bentley. England prankster alongside Jimmy Bullard. Uh, Jimmy Bullard tells us that apparently David Bentley used to be uh, pooing in pillowcases, used to be weeing in aftershave bottles, pulling all kinds of pranks. We signed him for 15 million when he was hailed as the next David Beckham, the shy and retiring David Beckham. I don't imagine he's ever pooed in a pillowcase or anywhere that wasn't solid gold. Uh, but David Bentley never quite lived up to any kind of hype. He scored one halfway line goal thanks to bad keeping against Woolwich FC uh, and did nothing else. Uh, so David Bentley, you were on my list. You were too busy soiling Jermaine Genus' bed sheets. Number four, Stefan Dalmat. That's right, guys, it is Throwback Thursday. Remember Stefan Dalmat? He used to light up our wings. He was great. He got him from Inter on loan, and he was quality. He was skillful, he was pacey, the solution to our problems. But unfortunately, he was a nightmare in the dressing room. Rumours were that he was stealing. I'm not sure if that's been verified, but he was an absolute nightmare. Send him back to Italy, send him back to Inter, and file this one under Spursy. Number three, Adele Tarapt, or the next Zidane, as he probably called himself. Uh, to be signed to Rapt on loan uh, and thought he was skillful enough and had enough potential to then sign him full time uh, after lighting up a few, you know, substitute appearances. And then just two years later, he was not even given a squad number and he was banned from the training ground for being a sulky little baby brat who said he was bigger than the club. Yeah, is QPR's bench bigger than the club? Do one. Number two, Helder Postiga. The postman never delivered. Absolute nightmare. Worse than the Royal Mail. Unbelievable. He signed for us for 8 million after he won the treble with Porto and then scored one goal in 19 league games for us. Oh God, it's so Spursy. Mourinho even said that he let him go to us because he knew he would never succeed in the Premier League. Hindsight is a Spursy thing. Number one, the Spursiest footballer of all time, Sergei Rebrov, Ukrainian wonder kid, but absolutely terrible in the Premier League. Remember when we signed Rebrov? We were all so excited. We'd broken our club record. We'd almost doubled it, gone up to 11 million for Rebrov. I carved, we've got Rebrov into my pencil case, my metal pencil case. Uh, and I'd gone to a lot of effort for that. I was really excited, had to buy a new one, one of those gull ones that looked like a swimming thing. Uh, and we were so excited because when we signed him, at the time of signing, he was the highest scorer in the history of the Champions League. For us, he got 10 goals in 60 games and then eventually went to West Ham on a free. Unbelievable. He also got pretty racist when warning Pavlyuchenko off signing for us, so what a dick. Honourable mentions go to Jermaine Genus, small pond footballer, despite goals against Arsenal, which were pretty good. Uh, pretty much everyone that we bought with the Gareth Bale money and Jermaine Defoe, the Cisco years. This has been my top five Spursy players of all time. Uh, leave in your comments other ones you can think of. Uh, I didn't have that much time, but I'm sure there are literally thousands. Uh, subscribe to the channel, follow us on Twitter at Spurred on TV, and I shall see you next week. Hello again, welcome back to Spurred On. I'm Barnaby Slater and I'm here for some more Tottenham transfer talk with my man from The Telegraph, Tom Edwards.